Hello guys, so what we're going to do today is to try to make a circle using sickle. So uh, so the idea behind that is that we will write a sickle statement, one select statement that will uh, create a shape which is very much like a circle. So we are going to, uh, we're, we will try to draw a circle uh, using a, a opal select statement. So the so the idea behind so the algorithm that we are going to use is Ben Brisson's ham circle algorithm. So uh, the reason is that uh, this is pretty much a very simple algorithm to use, and we will try to convert this algorithm into a SQL statement. Okay, so not PL SQL SQL statement. So um, for that we are going to use Oracle Live SQL platform. Uh, this platform is, if you're not familiar with it, let me just give a quick brief, is that it is provided free from Oracle and uh, it is up there in the cloud. You can do some quick tests. You can, if you have some testing to do in terms, uh, if you want to check something uh, using SQL, you can do that here. So let me just give you a very quick demo here. If you just log in, you need to have a account to do uh, uh, to do some tests to do the tests. And after you log in to the LiveSQL platform, you will see something like uh, something like this, something like this, and you can just write whatever you want, whatever query you want here to just text. Uh, uh to just to just test and let me just zoom in zoom in a little bit to make the fonts bigger i hope you can see it better this way uh okay so the thing is that there are some preloaded schemas available here for example the famous hr schema that we are very much familiar with when we test queries is uh, also loaded here you can query it like this select star from hr dot employees okay so the employees schema is there so okay so yeah right so these are the results as you can see these are the results you can do some quick checking here so it is completely free to use so we are going to use this platform okay fine so let me just uh, give a quick brief about what we are expecting to do. So, for example, we have a Excel here. Okay, so this is an Excel sheet. So, for example, just just think of these grids as uh, our query result, right? So, let's say that these are columns. These are the result columns, and from left to right, these are just our rows these are rows so we want something like this so like like for example let's pick a character random character zero maybe so zero 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 bunch of G zeros like me in real life okay so this is let me just let me just what we can do is we can just column width let me just reduce the column width to 0.15 maybe yeah right so as you can see this is kind of like a circle so we what we want is to uh write a query that will give us a result set like this with a bunch of it, uh, it will create a circular like pattern using the output output result right so what we are going to give is that we will give the radius of the uh, query uh, of the circle the x the center x and y and it will make a circle for us it can be smaller or bigger it doesn't matter it will make a circle from the uh, from the three parameters the the radius of the circle the center x and center y from these three parameters it will create a circle for us so here uh, 
so let me just give give you a quick brief about the uh, algorithm so the Bresenham's algorithm as you can see that uh, this is a circle it has x-axis then y-axis the center is uh, there is a center point and from it it has some radius like this this is a radius right so the algorithm that we really do care about is uh, this one okay so this is the algorithm that we really care about and they drew it using C they drew it on a window the pro this is a C program and we will try to convert it to a sickle or called sickle statement right so which will make a circle for us okay so uh, so if we just check the algorithm quickly so what it does is that let's go to the main function so the main function is called first so it has the center x center y so the center of the circle right so what is this so this is this one is the center of the circle so it takes the 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 center values of the circle so center x x c means x center y center then r the radius right so from that it so ignore these two lines these are for creating the graphs and drawing the algorithm the circle so this is the main algorithm circle press press and have in short so what this is the algorithm Bresenham's algorithm uh, it takes the center x center y and the radius and from that it does bunch of things it uh, takes a value of d and it draws a circle what is the draw circle draw circle is another function which is written here so what the draw circle do uh, is that this fun what this function does is that it places various uh, points on the windows right so to create the circle it places uh, various points on the circle eventually to create the full circle so so this is the put pixel function maybe uh, what we want to do is that we, we will okay we will think of it when we will start writing the query so it just it is just used to draw the circle it increases some value and decrements uh, some value of center x and y and then the x the points of x and y right so this is pretty much the algorithm so what it does is it draws a circle then it, it enters into the while loop uh until the y is greater than or equal to x for each pixel this is done so x is incremented then uh checks check for decision parameter and accordingly update a d x and y so it changes the value of d x and y so the d was initiated here and then this is also done here and after that it also calls the draw circle function to uh, to put the pixels right so after the while loop is finished we will eventually have a circle like this in form of c but in sql we have some other plan right okay so let's just uh, put them side by side so yeah, let me just reduce the window a bit. I hope so this is visible. I am really hoping that the window is visible here so that we can try our queries. This what does this button do? I don't know. Okay. Okay. So to start off what we are going to do is okay so let's just resize it okay this is better in my opinion okay so 
there are some things that we can do to tackle the problem for example oracle oracle is a turing complete oracle sql itself is a turing complete uh, language what it means is that you can implement any kind of logic yes any kind of logic using only oracle sql any uh, kind of logic can be implemented using oracle sql not pl sql only oracle sql so pl sql is also uh uh doing complete uh, on its own but the the sql part of oracle is doing complete as well so which means that we should be able to translate uh, everything, every logic that we can think of just using the SQL, right? Okay, so, oh, so there are some things uh, like uh, a level, connect by level and recursive with clause. So, uh, Oracle provides a, a feature called hierarchical functions or hierarchical queries. So, what it, those can be used for is to create uh, rows, any number of rows that that you can think of. You can use them to uh, as as loops, right? So, if you want to implement loops, for example, a while loop or for for loop, then you can use connect by level or recursive with clause so we're, we're going to see that uh, in this query uh, hopefully so let me first let me first start by start off by um by uh, showing the input parameters input values. so the input values that that our sql is going to take is that it will take three parameters the center of the circle x the center of the circle y so so the center x center y and the radius of the circle right so if this is the circle then the radius we want a radius of the circle so let's just uh show this three first select uh select um radius so what is the radius so let's for example let's just keep five as radius uh r then what we are going to uh for now for the sake of simplicity we are going to say zero for center value and y so xc is zero xy is zero xc oh sorry this is this should be called yc from duo right so what this will give us is the is this is our input parameter right so this is our input parameter so there is also there is something called with clause in uh, oracle so what this lets us do is to treat sub queries as uh, parts right so you can modularize you can modularize your queries to uh, to break down the logics um, more precisely and it gives a lot of flexibility to the query so we can just what we can do is we can put this sql uh, to the parameters in a width clause and we can just where it is out like select start from inputs right so inputs this and it will give us the same value as before so now we have a uh, like a like a table table it we can uh, think it like a table itself okay so the second thing that we're going to do is what our main function calls is the circle press okay 
so we are going to do that as well so let's try to implement this algorithm now okay. so we are going to go for this algorithm present hand algorithm so we can also like modularize this like saying sir so whereas let's keep the same name as this so this is the so-called brass algorithm in sql so how do i how do we so what it does is that in the circle brass algorithm it takes the value of x y so it creates these values so int d equals 3 minus 2 sorry guys uh there are lots of beeping noise from the phone and i just kept it in silent right now okay so we have x and y values we have we want to create some new variables right so how how, how can we manage the, these variables we can create them we can think them as new columns so let's create columns for these x and y and r and r and d these variables new variables right so for example select uh x so what is x x they're calling zero as x okay then what is the value of y y they said the value of y is r so what we can do is okay let's try something um okay so what we can do is we can just uh select r from inputs we can say it like that this is the value of r here and this is the value of y so they said that x equals zero so this is what this does right so both of them are same x equals zero so we made a new column with the value zero y equals r so we selected the r from inputs as the with the name column y then what we do let's go for the value d here so what should d be d should be d should be 3 minus 2 r 2 twice the r so 3 minus 2 is the value of r so what is the value of r here so the value of r is this this is the value of r so this is the value of r cool right so this is this one is this one right uh from drop okay now let's call this circle brace clause let's see what it returns come on three uh zero five minus seven. so there's this is the result and what we want to do right now is to create this draw circle so draw circle what this draw circle will do is that it will what is draw circle so draw circle will take the value of x c x y and the new x and y and based on that based on that it is going to create this pixels for us okay let's forget about this draw circle function right now let's just generate the values first let's just implement the while loop first then we will go back to this draw circle function okay just ignore this one for now okay trust me so think about this 
while function here how can we implement it in sql so there is one thing is called which is called recursive with clause what the recursive with clause does is that it calls itself it is a sql uh, term oracle sql term so you can use it something you can use this to create some kind of loops let me show you in a different sql so this is a different for example let's say we want to generate uh 10 numbers okay 10 numbers from 1 to 10 so how can we um make the numbers so uh we can write a recursive with clause for example with recursive as let's write the query here select select uh one from the wall okay so select star from red recursive so what it does is that it returns okay so here so we have only one result one because there is only one right select one from the wall so we have one now let's make it a recursive one so to to write it write a recursive query we have to write union union all then we have to write another query that will derive from the previous uh query uh previous result so select uh let's call it x let's rename the column x so x plus one from red okay so this is the recursive function and to tell that we are creating a recursive function we also should we also have to mention it using this uh, this uh, syntax right so two brackets with the parameter that we are going to loop through so this is the this is our recursive function let's see what it returns oh man cycle detected right so cycle detected means that we created an unlimited rope we created an unlimited rope loop so it is starting from one and it is going up to thousands so we have to uh uh we have to put a stop Mm, stop syntax right so we have to write something to stop the query so this will stop it from executing so now as you can see we just generated 10 numbers while x is less than 10 so as you can see we started from one uh, from dual then what we did is that we uh, selected from this which clause so from rig so this is what it tells that and we are trying to implement a recursive query and we just mentioned the value of x is x should be less than 10 so it will uh, loop through 1 up to 10 right so 1 to 10 so for each so first this one is uh first then it increments the value x plus one and as the previous value is one so one plus one means two right and it is checked then from two two plus one is three so this is pretty much the recursive with clause so you can also search it uh, uh on the internet to read further so where was we so we want to implement the recursive clause so as you can see that we already have three parameters x y and d so we need to mention it here x y and d x y and d so let's write the union function union all union clause union all then what we can do is we can select and what should we select we should so the value of x is in so the new value of x is incremented by one right so we have x here so let's in, increment the value of 
x plus 1 so this this is the new x so this one is translated to this one so x plus plus is translated to x plus 1 and the name of the column is x and then what should we write so there is a checking mechanism here so to check we can what we can do is we can write guess guess when if d is equals to zero case when d if the d is greater than equals to greater than zero so what we are trying to do is this thing here right so let's check that d is guess when d is greater than zero then what should do what should happen y should decrement so the second value was y so the y should decrement y minus one if not then what should happen so the second column so the second column belongs to y so let's think for y because in this part what is happening is that y is decremented so y loses one value and the d the value of d is changed right so for for the secondary iterations the y should just lose one value otherwise it should only be y okay and so this one should be called y then write the another in the same case for d here so case when d is greater than zero then this thing will happen let's just copy this so this thing will happen so what is the value of d the, the value of d should come from here 4 into so we incremented the value right so this should be the value of d and we also in, uh, decremented the value right of y so the y should be like this otherwise if this is not the case then what should happen this should happen okay so x plus one and so this should be called as d and we are pulling this from the previous value so select also uh, from circle brush so what we did is that as this is the value of x plus one so as we change the value of x here we change we increment the value by one here right x plus one so we change it here so this one should also be the incremented value right so this makes the value of x to x plus one so this should have one value incremented this is also same for y because in this case y itself loses one value so it means that y minus one so we put y minus one here so this is actually the same thing as this thing right so this is what we did we just did exactly what according to this algorithm here okay so let's finish the while loop so according to this it should go until the y the value of y is equals greater than or equal to x so where we can uh, denote it by saying also the same thing where y is greater than or equals to x right so as long as the value of y is greater than or equals to value of x this loop will continue let's write and now let's just run the query let's see 
search ocean this time just a second guys let me just okay so let's run it so as you can see that the result is this is the result here Seriously, I just lost the connection. Okay, so the uh, so this is what we got, right? So we have three columns X, Y, and D, and these are the values. And hopefully, this is the correct implementation that we just wrote together. Now let's go ahead and think about how to uh, think about this draw circle function. So, so as you as you remember that we just left it to implement later and what i am planning to do is just to put it over here in another with clause right so let's call it uh draw circle uh, right draw circle right so draw circle uh, so this time we're not making a recursive word so this is a just a normal with clause which will just so which will start from which will derive from this circle brace uh, with clause and then if we just run it just to test then this is the exact result that we got because the draw circle that we just made right now is something that is selected from this uh circle brace part right so this one so it just pulls everything from circle brace so draw circle pulls everything from circle brace right okay cool so what a uh, draw circle should do it should just do all these things this is the part that is left to do hmm so to put the pixels what it does is that it calls the put pixel it calls the put pixel uh, function and it takes the x and y value and it just so we need actually these these values we need to generate this value so how many values does how many functions how many function calls so total eight function calls are made with three values okay uh this is uh our current progress right so this is how far we have got right now so what we can do is we can make several columns right so let's imagine each of these values right so the put pixel function takes three parameters the color the color of the point the x and the y axis value of the point right so let's just uh create co a column for the x and the column for the y and yeah so what we can do is we can just put columns right so we can put a column for x and then column for y and as we have total eight function calls then we can repeat it eight times so total 16 new columns x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 so on so forth so let's try to do that um okay how is there any shortcut is there any way to this quickly we have to do some copy paste right yeah okay fine 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 so let's just do it like let's just paste it here just to do some uh just to do uh things quickly nothing serious so let's just remove the put pixel 
part it is oh man i just did it as a line also some also remove this hello so there is a text editor called uh, okay so what we can do with sublime text sublime text is an awesome tool i just to do something to do some quick changes very fast i use this uh, text editor many of the times to do some quick for uh, to format quickly okay it just makes the life easy we will call this so let's just take it and use it to in our query select here and we don't need this part okay so we just have red red so uh, what is our this is our function that we're using so let's call it x1 so remember we ha we will have total 16 columns for as the function is called eight times and we need two values right x and y so for each two values we will have two columns each so total 16 new columns so x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x4 and y4 x5 y5 x6 y Six all the way up to eight seven y seven x eight y eight and this is the last one right so we need to also put formulas before them so right so right y commas because these are different what different columns see these are some manual tasks that can that generates boredom right these are very boring thing to do repetitive tasks but we often need to do this kind of thing whether you are you are using any kind of language to code you need to do some so this is our structure of the function but we don't have this xc and yc so we do have x and y but we don't have xc and yc so what can we do for that so for that what we need to do is we need to add something like this so select c dot star let's call it c right and before that what we can do is we can so what is the value of xc so select xc from inputs as xc why because in the first thing in the first input uh, clause we in, in 
enter the value of x and y c right so we can get the x and y c from here let's make it like y c okay right so great so let's run it now and hopefully it should work from keyword not found because we did not say for from here right fantastic so we do have our pixel points here so we implemented the draw circle function we implement this one right so what what are we looking at so what we are looking at is we do have the coordinates in our hands so these coordinates is what we need to just put into our uh, our result sheet and hopefully it will create some sort of um circle so let's just test it out quickly where is our excel sheet so this is the excel sheet that we have let's just clean it out delete everything delete all whatever cool so let's just put it there maybe a bit side there cool okay let's uh put the row height to equal row height 0.15 as we right cool so let's think about these values these values so x y values right so for x zero for x one y one let's plot uh, let's just think that this is the center this is the center so let's just mark it for so how do background so background let's just mark it as blue so this is the center this is the center right so do we have any shortcut to do that just mark it or Okay, whatever so background color we do have the background color here man what happened background color what is the background how do I set the background color I'm sorry guys I'm very much under prepared for this so please do bear with me uh for myself and background should be blue what if we just copy and paste it right it works okay cool let's just take another background color okay where where should we put so x equals to zero so this is the value this is the x axis here and this is the y axis here so x zero five so uh, one two three four five so this one should be let's call this color let's just use this color so zero five is this because the value of x is zero and value of y is five let's fill up other zero five so this one is also zero five so same zero minus five so where is zero minus five this uh one two three four and five and just copy and paste five okay zero minus five same thing zero minus five zero five zero okay so minus five zero so where is minus five zero here one two three four minus five zero and hopefully we should have minus five zero five zero so where is five zero this is right here five zero so we do have these four values and let's go to the second row here one five so the value of x is one and the value is five so this then minus one five this one minus five this minus one minus five this five one so where is five one five one this 
one minus five one here and minus uh, five minus one so this one and minus five minus one this let's fill out the rest of the uh, uh, list of the rows so two four two and we do have four so notice guys we're forming a circle right so we're just forming some kind of circle here minus two four two minus four so two minus four two minus four minus two minus four four two so four two minus four two four minus two and minus four minus two so this is uh, this is forming a circle we are having a circle in our hand so three three so this is the three three and minus three so something like this yeah so we do have the coordinates of the circle as you can see so all we have to do is we have to rep represent the graph in a, in the table right so all we have to do we do have the points with us now we just have to plot the points right so this is the test so what, what about the last row i mean four two so the value of four four and two so this is the repetition of this one yeah okay just ignore that because we already have the circle with us so we don't need to worry that much uh, now now how how do we make the board how do we just plot it in the board right so first what we can do is we can we can try to make the board right so how to make the board let's try to make the let's try to make first a blank board what how, how can we make a blank board how can we make a blank board okay so what we can do is what we can do is we can let's let's just uh generate lots of rows right like let's let's make like a hundred rows so to make some blank rows we can use the, the another uh, uh uh hierarchical query format which is connect by level so let me just show you like let's generate 10 numbers using connect by clause this time not recursive clause remember recursive with clause we are using connect by level clause so to generate 10 rows select star from do all connect by level less than less than equals to 10 okay so level is a pseudo uh pseudo column all right so just like row up so this is also a valid query yes. sorry run it again as you can see we do have 10 rows right so we just made 10 rows so let's let's make 100 rows let's try to make 100 or like maybe 500 rows i don't know okay 500 rows look at that we do have 500 rows with us oh. okay so 500 rows we do have 500 we can generate 500 rows like this so what we want to do is we want to make lots of 
columns as well, blank columns. How to make blank columns? How many blank columns do we need actually? Do we need uh, let's make 200 blank columns? Okay, 200 blank columns. How can we make 200 blank columns? So one way to do it we are very shortcut is that we can make a let's just do it like select uh now okay just bear with me what am i trying to so to to make some blank columns this is the uh, this is the way to do Select null call C1. Now, oh man, now C2, now C3. So, like this, we. That's wrong. Why am I making the same mistake? Okay, so as you can see, we have 500 rows but three columns three blank columns right so we want to have like 200 blank columns and 500 rows we already have 500 rows with this with the help of this connect by level plus now we have we want to have uh 200 rows let's 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 just okay okay 200 let's just make 200 blank columns how can we do that a one way to do it is a, a very shortcut way of doing it is to just write it like this now p and we just want to concat level let's put let oracle generate blank columns for us okay Look at that. We do have 200 things. Let's just open it. Okay. So this 200, just just copy all of them, and we're going to paste here. Okay. this should work this should work actually let's try run maximum result size reached okay maybe 200 maybe is quite a lot let's make 150 columns how about that yeah as you can see we have 150 column blank columns and 200 rows we're going to use that here so this is our this is our blank board we want to plot the the coordinates that we have in this blank board okay so we want to plot the the coordinates here so we do have the x and y values right so we do have the x and y values now all we have to do is we have to put them in this blank board Mm. Okay, what what did 
we have before let's just run our first query so these are the coordinates these are the coordinates we want to put these coordinates to that blank hole so how can we do that okay okay so let's do one thing let's first so we do have total 16 columns right so let's convert all of the columns into uh two 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 columns so we want all the values of x and y in just two columns so x y now we have x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 we only want x y which will have all the coordinates like for example 0 5 these so this column and that column and the other x and y columns should be beneath the uh the x and y values so we so what we can do is we can just take these 16 columns and just rotate them or just 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 uh arrange rearrange them so that they they fit in just two columns so just to simplify just to simplify we will have all the points in under just two columns how how to do that so this is uh how to do that so another way uh let's reform let's call it re reform mat points let's call it re reformat points as so select star from draw circle so select star from draw circle so what we want to do is we want to take all of these columns and so select x1 y1 like y1 from draw circle x y from draw circle and let's just so this is what we want where is my sibling so we want to create unions right so union we want to just do all of it may we should do it eight times right like this okay eight times and x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 x4 5 6 oh sorry 6 7 8 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 okay so this is what we want we want to just take all the eight pair of columns all these uh, 16 columns into just two columns let's just run it see what happens okay so we do have all the points here right so instead of having many columns we only have two columns and we have their distinct points so it will be easier to put in the in this board blank board so how can you put these values to the blank board let's Take the value of x and y. Put them in here. 
सो एक्स मीन्स लेफ्ट टू राइट एंड वाई मीन्स सो दिस इज अवर ब्लैंक बोर्ड बाय द वे सो वाई मीन्स टॉप टू बॉटम राइट सो दिस इज दाई एक्सिस फ्रॉम अप टू डाउन लेफ्ट टू राइट इज एक्स एक्सिस सो एज द कॉलम इंक्रीजेस द वैल ऑफ एक्स विल इंक्रीज एंड एज द कॉलम इफ द कॉलम नंबर मैचेस विथ एक्स देन वी विल मार्क दैट सेल इफ द कॉलम इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स एंड द रो इज इक्वल्स टू वाई then we will mark that cell so we also need the row number so we need the level level so we need the level so what is what our plan is to our plan is to something like this so if we have the x and we have <coughs> excuse me so we have the x and we do have y so if the x x means from left to right so if the column number column number matches with x and if the row number matches with y then we will highlight or we will put a character on the cell this is the plan so let's again try to write another query Two hundred. okay so here oh man boy thank you okay so we can call it like this reformat points let's let oracle make the rows for us select so so the level is the in the in our blank board the level column is the number of rows so let's just call it level as row num let's call it row num row underscore num so this is the row number what is happening so this is the row number right so so let's uh, let's just say uh, uh, select okay so we also want to mention what character we want to use to draw so what character should we use to fill up the cell for example we can use like r or we can use like zero or or hash maybe like like hash so let's make another let's take another input so uh character so uh so let's call it cr h We, let's call it sage okay sage tier character sage tier let's call it sage tier so sage tier is the character that we want to use to fill up the cells we obviously cannot uh, show colors right so we cannot show color in the in our results so we want to show some character to draw the circle so what should be the character let's say the character should be oh okay so let's 
say the character should be O. So select search T or select search uh, T R from where from Oh, this is also wrong. Like so. Because we do not have the character in the format point. So select uh select sh T R from inputs from reformat points where we do have the value of x and y right so we do have value of x and y so x should match with x means left to right so x should match with the column so where x equals level no. and and y raise y equals row nine. so this should be and we will call it c level okay up to 200 this is this should be our we need 20 uh, we need 200 of this we need 200 of this so let's just download Okay, and just use all of them. No, not 200. Let's take 150 because we do not want to end up with a error. So just here and just, 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 just sit over here up to this point. So this should be our new, this should be our new board, okay. So this is our new board. I am hoping from, okay, we don't want this ronam here, we should not have this ronam here we want to uh, we want to do a subquery don't worry guys we will explain the query uh, after uh, after finishing the whole query right we will go through again and explain everything that we have done so far so from let's do some subquery here select level from well So we want to order the whole thing with Ronam and we want this as a 
part of another big with clause. Okay. So I just don't know what am I doing. Let's call it draw uh, draw circle. So we do have draw circle. So draw uh draw for that's as let's 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 just call it this one draw board control x and i don't think that we need it so Control X and we want to have it here. Okay. So I just do not know what I have done. Hopefully we will have a circle or we will have an error. Let's just run the whole damn thing. I don't know. Did we have a circle? I don't think we did. I don't think. Okay, there is something, right? There is something. So let's let's just increment the. So this is for radius five. Let's just. Mm, Let's just draw for radius ten. I don't know. What is this? So, did we have a circle or not? So, this is bunch of O's, bunch of O's. So, this is something, right? So, this is putting something on the board. So, what is this putting? So so this is the result that we have just fetched and what happened here is that we're not having the full circle as you can see that this is the quarter of the cycle uh, as we just mentioned that we will fill the cells with uh, the character O what it is doing is it is just filling a part of the circle let's just increase the value here let's just say that we want to check the circle with radius 15 let's just execute again let's see if we get a bigger part of the circle right okay so for a circle with radius 15 as you can see that this 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 is still not uh showing the the full uh the full uh size of the circle what it is showing is that the the one fourth one fourth of the circle the reason why uh, our query is be behaving this way is due to the fact that we are having lots of values as negative so we are having lots of negative values but, I can, but I, as you can see that the board that we just are trying to draw in is only 
of costing uh, consisting the positive values so the number of rows are from 1 to 200 and the number of columns starts from 1 to 150 so we have we we just made a board with just positive values but what is happening here is that we are getting negative coordinates so how can we just convert the negative coordinates into the positive uh into the positive portion so one thing that so one thing that we can do is we can just we can just add the maximum amount right so for example let me just put it this way so for example we have a coordinate for example like negative five zero and then we have let's say zero five so what is happening here is that what is happening here is that we do not have any place for negative five in the board because in the board all the values that we have are positive right so the column number starts from 1 to uh, 150 and the row number starts from 1 to 100, uh, 1 to 200 so we do not have negative values so what to do with the negative value so one solution is that we can just add the the maximum number so the maximum number of the of the axis so what is the maximum number here is zero so what is the maximum number so the maximum number is zero so let's just add zero to minus five so that will still be minus five right so what we can do is we can just take the minimum amount let's take the minimum amount so what we can do is just take the minimum amount and just add so if we add minus 5 to 5 then it becomes so it becomes 0 and it becomes this one becomes 5 right so we took the list we do the smallest number and turned it into positive so so this will remain five this will become five obviously this is x and this is y so this will become five and this will become 10 because this is the this is no 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 for y what should we do yeah minimum minimum is zero so it will be zero isn't it so what should what is the minimum value minimum value is zero so zero and five Five. this is the result so yeah but this is what we should do right this what we should just shift our shift uh so we we should for example uh if we consider this x and y axis then it is only sorry this is it is only showing this part only showing this part the the result is like this the result is like this we are losing the this three part because so what, what, what all we have to do is we just have to shift the whole circle so that it fits the result set so how can we do that we just add uh, we just add the list x the smallest x with so we just add this a smallest y to the y and a smallest x to the x that is all we should do then if we can do that then hopefully it will be shifted like this it will be shifted like this all right so it should shift like this so let's try to do that so we do have reformat right so reformat let's let's just reformat again 
this time call let's call it yeah no 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 uh let's just call the first one format format points and let's just call read format point read uh, so let's just make another read for mat points as this okay so what it should do is it should fetch say like star from for mat points uh, but all it should do is it should just add the minimum value so x plus um select min of x from uh for my points so list amount of value we should just and we just need to into negative one we just need we need to take the smallest amount uh, smallest number so the list of the negative numbers and we have to turn it into positive and add so this is our new x <coughs> the same way we'll have our new y this this uh, i think that this should solve the problem i'm not 100 percent sure by the way Toss it out. Okay. Let's try to run again. Hopefully this time we will format points. We do not have format points. V format points. So we do have format points here. Format points. Oh format. Format typo. Made a little typo here. Format. Why WP does not exist? Format points, format, format, and format. Okay, cool. How about we format points? Reform. Why did we just say reform? So we made a typo here. Reformat. It should be reformat. So just, just, just quickly fix that where is our advantage here just uh control f we reformat find out reformat for cool copy and Test here, okay. Right now, run again. Please work, please. Okay, so we have something. Look at that. We have something. Let's just download the result, okay, and let's see whoa cool this is the circle so it is starting to make a circle but there is this this is missing from there so we just we also have to have add one so let's add one here so x plus one i think y plus one cool. let's run again hopefully this will solve our problem whoa okay let's let's just download the result open it in excel great so we do have a circle here it is it looks like a circle right so let's just delete this row let's let's just do some formatting 
column width let's just make it 1.6 no sorry my bad my bad column width should be 0.16 and oh man so we do need to just remove something right so let's just copy so this one find all and replace let's make them blank so there are lots of negative so what is happening is that it is pulling this minus sign like so i just remove that and now make the row height to 0.16 and we do have a circle with us okay so our query is working just fine let's make a bigger circle so for 15 let's make a circle with say with, uh, with the radius 30 i don't know what what will happen right now hopefully it will work and after that we will try to color the circle hopefully nothing uh, so it is still executing and we do have the circle so let's download the csv open it in excel just first re remove the row oh man delete so replace all the thing and we want to column with uh 0.15 let's make or 16 let's give it a space to breathe and the row should also be 0.16 cool this is a circle yay we made a circle so control f plus just can we just uh, can we just color all the cells all format cell maybe uh, okay let's do one thing let's just copy and paste find all and let's just color from ourselves and we want to have the background like this one so as you can see that this attempt was successful and we managed to create a circle in the result sheet and the SQL worked right so let's just uh, let's just quickly recap the SQL that we just finished so this is what we have done so far let's just try to let's just try to uh, give it the format circle dot SQL so that we will have the colorings okay so what we did to make the circle was to we first took the inputs and then we applied the algorithm brazen hands algorithm called circle press and then we implemented the draw circle function uh, according to this document here this one draw circle so we just uh, uh, converted the uh, the function from C to SQL okay and then what we did we just formatted the points so that from 16 columns we wanted to have only two columns so this is what we did in the format points part 
then we did a little reformatting and we just shifted all the points all the negative points to positive and then we just use the draw board to draw the the points with the character right so this is all we did so thank you so much for watching and hopefully we will see each other again uh, in another tutorial if you want to if you want to know something from me if i want to i i i i would love to help you guys uh uh with anything regarding sql or whether it is programming or it related please let do let me know in the comment section whether you like it or not and and yes this the uh the link of the query that we just did i will give it to the description so please do check the description to get the link of this query and you can just uh tweak it and uh, will uh, you can learn from it all by yourself too so uh please do uh write in the comment that uh, what kind of tutorials should i make for you uh, and also please do give uh likes and it will be awesome if you can subscribe to the channel it will be a huge uh encouragement for me thank you for today and hopefully we will see you next time in another tutorial so please stay subscribed thank you so much